Ran here, the coat the coat the thing or that bum 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 thing and ominous sounds is all still doing thing. We beat it nega me or evil me, whatever. If it would stop, I would actually would love to hear. Oh boy. I wonder if I can just sneak, like right by him. Maybe this will help. Now, where are you going? Go down now, please, please go down. Oh, come on! There's just there's gotta be some other way to do this. Come on! Why am I... What am I doing? Come on! Come on! Oh, son of a fucking bitch! Run straight soft somewhere. Oh, what am I doing? I figured out what the fuck I'm doing. Oh no, you can't. You can't. This generator is way worse. Way worse. <sighs> way worse than the, um, the Limpy. I found another one of those. Don't find me. I am not in the mood. Oh, son of a bitch. So sorry for not talking, it's just the ominous noise, everything, it's not helping. It's whistling and the noise is hurting my ears. God damn, I, I fuck you.
Okay. I found it. Another pen. What do we got here? Hey, look, it's Einstein. No clues. Nothing. About labyrinths. During the times of ancient Greece, the word labyrinth referred to an underground building that was designed to be a maze. Labyrinths are later seen as high-fenced gardens during the Renaissance age. A four great, the four great labyrinths of the world are the Egyptian labyrinth, the Cretan labyrinth, and the, on the, the Lemnos labyrinth, and the Italian labyrinth. There are two kinds of labyrinths. The first kind is designed to, so that all paths lead to the center. In, in this type of labyrinth, the same path will not be taken twice, but must but one must take longest distance possible to reach the destination. In the second kind, the paths are forked and very complicated, making it very easy to get lost. To deal with this type of labyrinth, one must rely on memory and good judgment. The labyrinth symbolizes many different meanings, and its symbol and appearance changes depending on the era and region. A traditional meaning of the labyrinth signifies exclusion and imprisonment allowing only those who are worthy to find the exit. Getting to the center of the labyrinth symbolizes Uterian regression and the labyrinth presents the body of the Mother Earth. Thus, it is the woman who own and control the labyrinth, while men must find the right path to escape. The continuity of the labyrinth signifies immortality and eternity, and in the Eastern philosophy it means to escape the cycle of birth and death and the rules of karma. Jesus. In the perspective of a funeral rite, the labyrinth symbolizes death and resurrection. Going into the labyrinth means death, and coming out of it means resurrection. So in a way, the labyrinth can be thought of, a, of as a model underworld. Yeah, that would make sense. Great. The funny thing is, his bat has blood in it. Oh, fuck off! Yeah, you're angry, aren't you? Hi. Mm -hmm. Ugh, fucking kiss my ass. It's gonna make me tired. Ugh. 
Okay. Me to be in here anyways for now. to go back to the to the big huge room where all the doors are he needs to go back there go on go on go on Holy hell. You're making it difficult. Come on. There's a monitor on. To whoever finds my writing, my hope is that no one will read this. However, I believe my knowledge on the secrets of this school will become useful to those who seek to uncover the truth. I write this poem from personal experience, investigations, and my knowledge in Oriental studies. Some may say that I'm delusional, but I trust my findings like a religion. They're an absolute truth for me. It's been six years since I began teaching in Yeondu's high school, but in that short period of time, I've experienced something that I will never forget. I've always felt there was something sinister about the school. First, the location of the school is far from ideal. The energies of the yin and yang intertwine with the with the terrain, creating a strong natural energy flow. This is on itself would not be an issue, however, mixing the energies of restless teenagers in this location has disrupted energy flow, twisting it into negative energy. The school was oblivious to this fact and did not understand why so many accidents kept occurring since its opening. Finally, with the aid of a Feng Shui expert, they created tokens to contain the violent energy of this place. There were five tokens, one for each element, and they were placed in the school using the repulsion theory to create a base for a very strong barrier. This barrier suppressed the violent energies, and soon the school was stabilized, but this didn't last for long. While investigating the supernatural phenomena, that frequently came up in school. I realized it was all related to the strong energy that was concentrated here. It was the barrier that was the root of it all. The tokens composing the barrier were made from peach wood. Peach wood is known for its power to ward off evil. However, this caused the ghosts of school to be locked inside the barrier along with the disturbed energy sucking life force of the living. The school became a place where the, the world of the living and the world of the dead overlapped. 
It could hardly, I could hardly believe it, even with my own eyes. An interesting idea occurred to me when I realized the secret. By using the twisted n nature of this place and the power trapped within the barrier, I thought it would be possible to transfer a soul of the dead into the body of a living person. Hmm. I was mesmerized by this sudden yet whimsical theory. Each day I pondered on how to prove this... Oh boy. And as the days went by, my desire to test it grew even greater than when I was near to the bursting with frustration she came to me here's the way to perform the ritual before you start the ritual make sure the ghost soul is whole only a ghost with its soul intact can be resurrected what you need to do first is to find the tokens and disable them this process has to follow the order of five elements repulsion qualities and it must take place during a night of a full moon you would also need a suitable body to be used for receiving the soul there was a body that the ghost insisted on but as time passed, I became more afraid. It wasn't that I doubted my theory. I was afraid that because I knew it would, would, it would work, I knew a horrible disaster would occur. If something went wrong with the ritual, the barrier would break and unleash the great power that was trapped within. Should something like that happen, remove the tokens in the order of five elements, harmonic qualities, place them together in the same spot, and combine the power of yin and yang with them. The, the barrier with the power of yin, yang, and all five elements should be able to shut down the spirits at least for a while. That would be the only hope then. This <sighs> is, yeah, theories and stuff like that. It's great and all. But when you have all that knowledge, it really doesn't make anything pretty. Well, what do we got? Um, evidently I gotta do something with that. Okay, where is it? Oh boy. picture of Tiananmen Men Square in Beijing. Nothing seen. That's a fax machine, but where? is the uh is that one oh boy okay five ten fifteen it's gotta be something Okay, let's uh move on. Hmm. 
Wasn't there like a red room somewhere? What's this? Tranquilizer. Okay. I need the key, the Third floor. Computer lab. Occult. Oh boy. Okay, um. Just go down here. I don't see him, thank goodness. Oh, I need a key for that. It means I need to get the blue card. Where do I find... The third floor it doesn't make it. I've never been in Australia. Let me go to see if I can get into those rooms. Wow, that's loud. To a certain point of the room, let's find out what this is. Okay, is there science to where I need to get up a little more? Oh, great. Means there's got to be another. I got to get the and I need to go back out there. Oh. Okay, so I gotta go back in their freaking name. And what do I do about the chick? The ugly chick. Hmm. I don't think I haven't done yet. It's gotten pretty far. Okay, well, time's about up. Until next time, guys. Run out.